expanding it. In tonight's different story, Jeannie Most reports on banks where they can show you everything but the money. Imagine a stately old bank building where there's plenty of dough, but most of it ain't money, from Domino's Pizza in Detroit to Central Carpet in New York City. I always want to be a banker, so I bought a bank. You never know what you're going to find in old bank buildings these days. At Rothman's Menswear in Manhattan, you can dress like a banker if you shop in the vault. We decided to put our better clothing in there. The little rooms customers used to use to open their safe deposit boxes in private are now fitting rooms. As for the customer shopping among the $1,000 suits in the vault... If he doesn't buy, we close the door. They can't even open the vault door here at Central Carpet. Owner Ike Timianko spent two years and two million dollars restoring this former gold dome bank. And it's glorious, it's beautiful, it's like a museum. It has everything from chandeliers to gilded columns to an incredible rotunda, but Ike has been going in circles when it comes to the vault. No one has the combination, and locksmiths want a fortune to open it. If I want to open it, it will cost me $6,000. But I'm giving an offer. Anybody who wants to offer it for free, get a free rug. A free 9 by 12 rug, big enough to cover a nice vault. Apparently, it's a lot harder to get into a locked vault than out of one. Who got locked in it? I did, and, uh, and a worker. How long were you in there? Uh, a couple hours. Sal Mamana bought a former bank building in Brooklyn and turned it into a gym. They don't count money here anymore, they count calories. The aerobics classes are held right next to the vault. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. This is the door that accidentally swung shut and locked Sal in during construction. Luckily, we had a screwdriver. Sal managed to jimmy this mechanism and break out. Occasionally, this bank turned gym fools passers by. I've had people come in here looking for an ATM machine. Sal, by the way, has hopes of turning the vault into a massage room. Oh, how kinky. <laughs> you know how financial institutions evoke a hushed silence? The leader of the band, Clearview, calls the acoustics incredible in this former bank-turned-club called The Bank. This place is great, you know? It's cool. We're playing in a bank. A bank where the old hanging light fixtures dangle in the company of a disco ball. And the vaults are used as coat checks and to store liquor. You don't look like a teller. What? You don't see any tellers in a natural brunette? Actually, the pierced navel was the asset no teller would bank on. Ginny Mo, CNN, New York. So if you don't buy one of those $1,000 suits, they just lock you in there until you're ready to spend the money, yeah, I guess. put a ring through your navel and make your hair blue. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for the world today. Thanks for joining us. I'm Leon Harris.